We grow uh, cotton, we have about 700 acres of cotton, and uh, corn, we have about 150 acres. Soybeans, we have about 400, and wheat, we tend about 200 acres of wheat. Well, we start up, just like most farmers, from sun up to sun down. Um, first off, start out with feeding the animals and watering it up, and uh, then we come over to the barns to uh, get the equipment going, and uh, fueling, and uh, making sure everything's serviced for that day. And, I take and uh, set the implements and you know if we don't have enough tractor drivers I'll jump on a tractor. If I do uh, I kind of just keep everybody going during the day. This farm that we acquired right here around us uh, we had always been my desire to be able to purchase it and uh, when we had the opportunity to buy it um, my wife and myself we had given a lot of prayer and asked the Lord to please supply it for us and he did and uh, one of our uh, desires was to give back to him because he loaned it to us and uh, so we have a lot of uh, gatherings at our, our farm. Um, uh, it's been a true blessing. Farm Bureau has uh, played a vital role in my life. Um, Farm Bureau has taught me leadership skills I think. Uh, I've learned a lot from the meetings and the classes that I've attended over the years and it's instilled in me the ability I think to be able to be able to lead the county board and, uh, and other uh, adventures that I've uh, been in through my life. Um, Farm Bureau has also shown me that, you know, it's important to be a part of the political process. I think if there's two words that I can describe Farm Bureau, it would be political clout. And it's what it takes now um, to strive as an agriculture industry. We've got to have somebody there to assist us and to help us, and Farm Bureau has been that person. You know, President Wooten is respected across the state. All you've got to do is just say uh, Larry Wooten's name, and uh, folks recognize uh, his integrity and the integrity behind this organization. And so we have a lot of political clout in Raleigh, and, and we need that. Well, I think first off, you uh, you need to be involved in an organization that promotes agriculture, and uh, Farm Bureau is, is that organization. Farming is not an industry that you can just walk into now without assistance and help. I mean, it, you've either got to inherit it or have somebody to kind of assist you and help you along the way. And uh, it's very costly uh, to, to get into farming now. And so, you know, that's why some folks say it's a, it's a dying um, occupation. But uh, I think that uh, it still can be vibrant in the future to come.